In this video, I'm gonna do a review of a teleprompter that works with your iPad. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV. Help you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do video gear reviews, lighting reviews, and tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe. And hey, at any point during this video, check out all the different gear and apps and things that we talk about in this video in the YouTube description below. Let's get into the review. So teleprompters are all across the board when it comes to cost. The professional lines could be multiple thousands of dollars. At NAB recently, we saw a lot of iPad teleprompters that were still like five to $800. Uh, but I love this one because it comes in right at $150. I've actually used it for years at my job and I just bought my own personal version to use in my home business. And so these are great if you're a coach or if you just don't feel comfortable being spontaneous on camera. So let's check out the features of this Interact Media teleprompter. So this is the Interact Media R810-10. And some of the things that I like about this particular teleprompter is that it's easy to assemble. They ship it to you quick and you can just put it together. It has beam splitter get glass. And that's what allows you to be able to, once you put the cloth on the teleprompter for the camera to be able to see through, but for you to be able to see the words, then you just put the teleprompter on a tripod. And this is on a $25 Ravelli tripod. And then you can just put your camera on the te teleprompter, they give you a wing nut and you're good to go. And then I use an older iPad with the teleprompt app. And there's actually a new version of the app, the uh, teleprompt plus version three. And what's cool about that one is that it, you can use it with your phone. So you can actually control it if you stand a little bit further back from the camera and you don't have to walk up or have somebody helping you swiping their finger uh, on the text to uh, you know figure out where the cue point is but I use the teleprompt app and it is kind of expensive. I think it's 10 or $20 and I'll link it up in the description below, but it's worth it, right? Cause you're already getting like a killer teleprompter set up for a super cheap price compared to, you know, what it would be for the high end stuff. And so once you've assembled the teleprompter, once you got your camera on there, you got your iPad with the app installed, and then you can put the content on the app. Then you just put this cloth over top of the teleprompter and you can have great looking video while seeing your script. Now, when I did this shoot recently, I did it all by myself. And you could probably relate, a lot of YouTubers, video creators, coaches that are trying to do online video, you know, you are kind of a one man, one woman show, right? And so some of the gear that I picked out was very intentional. I use a Canon 70D because it has really good autofocus during video. I set it to face autofocus so it would track my face so I could just know that I'm getting a good shot while the camera is like on the other side of the teleprompter. And then I use STM lenses. So the Canon lenses that say STM means that they're a stepper motor and it means that they're very quiet and they're faster for autofocus. So I wanted like a good autofocus shot of my face um, and I wanted it to track my face and then I used this ring light right in front not really because it was the ideal but mainly because it was just um, what I had so that gave a good solid light I had the iPad going and then I actually used a wide lens 10 to 18 and I zoomed it into 18 so that I could stand pretty close to the whole setup and the reason why is I wanted to be able to just reach out and redo scenes. So I could just, with my finger, just reach right up, scroll the, uh, the text a little bit, and then start on the next scene if I messed up a little bit. Now, like I said, the Teleprompt Plus 3 app actually lets you use it from your phone. And so in a lot of cases, maybe you're gonna be a lot further away from the teleprompter and still doing it by yourself. So that's definitely an option that you might wanna check out. And then I used a Rode mic on a Studio Boom kit with an extension cable plugged directly into the camera. And so that was nice. I could have this mic uh, set up so that I could be grabbing my audio while recording straight into the camera, but also a lapel mic or something like that would work as well. This includes seven step-by-step -step modules showing you how to reverse engineer YouTube success. 
So overall, this is a great teleprompter that works with an iPad. Uh, 150 bucks is a great price, super dependable. I know I'll be able to use it for years to come. And the cool thing is, uh, it'll work with the iPad you already have. It'll work with the mini or like an iPad 2 and all of those sizes. Not the new big ones, but just the typical size iPad. And if you didn't have one, you could probably grab one cheap on Craigslist or eBay because you don't need a ton of power in the iPad if this is the only thing that you're gonna be using it for. And depending on how you set everything up, it's definitely a great way to crank out a ton of content without having to be spontaneous, right? But to have scripted content, whether for information videos or for videos for a course, or if that's just what you feel comfortable with. And so definitely something to check out. Question of the day. Do you have any tips or experience when it comes to teleprompters or iPad teleprompters? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. And remember, some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with the tribe down there. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, you can grab it on the YouTube card or a link in the description below. I just break down my recommendations for every budget so that you can make your videos look awesome. Definitely uh, leave a comment of future videos you wanna see below. Hit the like button if you appreciated this video. And until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we'll talk soon. So office meetings have been getting a little bit crowded with these puffy chairs and the exercise ball. We gotta expand soon. We've got this teleprompter and it's pretty exciting. Cut. Boom! Hi, everyone. Goodbye.